Hello. Today I'd like to uh, explain a nice demonstration that's available from Educational Innovations called the Poly Bead, Poly Density Bottle. And um, in this bottle, we see kind of a curious display. We have a liquid in the bottle. Liquid, I think you can see the top of the liquid. And there's some beads. But the curious thing about this, the beads are in the middle of the bottle. They're neither floating nor sinking. They're just suspended in the middle. And the white beads are above the blue beads. This is very curious because usually something either sinks or floats. It doesn't just sit in the middle. The other thing about this is that if you take this bottle and shake it up, the white beads float to the top and the blue beads sink to the bottom. So it's a very curious little demonstration and it really does get students interest. The white beads at the top, the blue beads at the bottom. Now if you're very observant, I think you'll notice that the liquid inside is rather turbid, all right? And if we wait long enough, the white beads will sink to the middle, the blue beads will rise to the middle, and it will come back to the original orientation. So what's going on here? Uh, there's a lot to learn by this demonstration. Well, first of all, this is not a single liquid in here. There's actually two liquids. It's a mixture of isopropyl alcohol and water, but it also, but isopropyl alcohol and water are completely miscible. They, they, they don't form two phases. Oil and water will, but it's isopropyl alcohol and water mixed together completely. However, there's some salt in it. And the salt is soluble in water, but not so soluble in isopropyl alcohol. And this results in the water and the alcohol separating. This is called salting out. That's an important principle in organic chemistry. So the two liquids actually salt out. I, I want to show you this, the two liquids. And I've, I've added some green dye to the mixture. So this is a, a mixture of isopropyl alcohol, water, and salt. Salt dissolves in the water and we get two phases. The bottom phase is mainly salty water. It's more dense than the isopropyl alcohol in the top phase. Uh, you can see the phase boundary. I'm going to put a little piece of red here. You can see the phase boundary wiggling around. Okay, so we really have two phases. Uh, mainly isopropyl alcohol at the top, salt water at the bottom. There's a little bit of salt and water up here, but it's mainly uh, isopropyl alcohol. It's mostly salt water down here. Um, this is low density. This is higher density. And if I mix them together, it looks like it becomes homogeneous, but it's a unstable emulsion. And it has a, a, a gross density that is intermediate between that of the isopropyl alcohol on the top and the salt on the bottom. And if we wait long enough, these two phases will completely separate and come back to the way it is. So let's get back to our polydensity demonstration. We have isopropyl alcohol, low density, salt water, high density. The, the beads are obviously made of two different kinds of plastic. The white beads have a lower density than the blue beads. The white beads are more dense than the isopropyl alcohol, but less dense than the salt water. The blue beads are more dense than the isopropyl alcohol, but less dense than the salty water. So they float on the salty water. The white beads sink in the isopropyl alcohol, but the white beads being less dense than the blue beads are above the blue beads. When I mix them together, I make that the two liquids form an emulsion, but it's an unstable emulsion. It has an intermediate density. And now the white beads are less dense than that unstable emulsion here. The blue beads are more dense than that emulsion. And then as the two phases separate again, it will come back to its original orientation. So uh, I, I think this is a great uh, 
demonstration piece, it really does get kids' interest. Uh, you could probably make it yourself, but uh, it's available from Educational Innovations as well. Um, the um, principles that it deals with are density, phase equilibrium, uh, salting out, uh, an important concept in, in organic chemistry. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a nice curiosity that can be explained and you can uh, kind of talk about it uh, with students at all different levels uh, from elementary school through high school and even college. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you next time.